Hello guys, welcome to by the way it's cloud. So in today's session we will be studying the basic authentication mechanism with nginx. So there are you know two types of authentication mechanism or you can say approaches available with nginx. The first one is the username password based approach. You must have seen web pages where when you are hitting the web page you are, you are being asked in the browser to enter username and password. While the second approach is the whitelisting approach where you'll allow certain set of IPs or a range of IPs to get access to a particular web page. So let's start configuring the two. So here I'm using AWS servers. This server I've already installed Nginx in it. Let's take its public IP. We'll open Mobixtrum to do SSH into it. Since I'm using a Windows machine, that's why that's why I need to use some SSH client. If you are on a Linux machine, you can simply go to the terminal and you know directly SSH from there. There are other SSH clients available like Putty. You can also use that. So we are here in the Nginx console. Before starting the configuration for this basic authentication, let me tell you, I have already created one static HTML page and I have created one directory that static here you can find the admin.html page let me show you what this admin.html contains so it's a very basic web page that will have you know a heading that's admin page and a body structure that is this page is only visible to authenticated admin user so i am trying to create a use case here that we are trying to access one website that is only available to admin users so let's go to the nginx directory and create one configuration file. As you already know, nginx is generally installed in the slash etc directory. We'll go to slash etc nginx conf.d. So here we need to create uh, one configuration file. I'll give it a name as let's say sudo nano, I'll say auth.conf. So I'm using here nano editor you can use other editor as well like vi or vim so for any configuration file in nginx we need to start with a server block let's create one so server block has been created then i need to declare on which port i'm going to listen that's 80 then i need to define the server name so we are taking localhost in my case if you have one domain available then you can place the domain name here then we'll define the location block. So we are declaring one endpoint as slash. Okay. In the location block, since we are creating one virtual host, so we need to give, you know, two things here. The first one is the directory where all the files are there. We call it as root. So we'll be giving the directory. So in our case, the directory will be static directory that I showed you, that I shown you while in the start of this tutorial. So we'll give the path here slash home slash Ubuntu static. That's it. Let's close it. Yeah. The next thing is I need to define one index file. That is whenever the first time request is coming. So which static page I'll be showing. So by this index keyword, I'll be using that admin dot HTML. Okay. So virtual host has been successfully created. Now we need to, you know, go for basic authentication for that the keyword uses auth basic i'll give any random name that's basic auth let's close it the next thing is i need to provide a username password file that the nginx should know like what users are allowed to access this location block so the keyword use will be auth basic user file okay so i'll be you know giving the path here so i haven't created that file we'll be creating it later but let's suppose the file name is i'm using the same static directory i'll be placing the username password file here you can create a hidden file like for now i am just creating one user file by the name user so this is all for the basic authentication. We have done the configuration. No other thing is required. Let's save this file 
and check for any syntax error sudo nginx minus t well there is some error let's okay so the spelling mistake let's open the file again let's correct it okay i have used oh it's wrongly spelled it's auth let's save the file and check for syntax error so it's successful let's restart the nginx service restart okay it's done so now one thing is left that we need to create one username password file okay for that we need to use ht password or you can say we need to have apache utils that's a utility to create all these things for that we need to install apache 2 sudo apt install apache 2 if you are using centos then you need to install httpd since we are in our ubuntu machine we call it as apache 2 i have already installed it so i won't be going for this now if you are on a fresh machine you need to install it well everything is done we need to create the username password file so ht p a s s w d minus c that's for create will give the path slash home slash ubuntu if you remember we give the path the path as slash static and the file name as user okay we need to mention here what will be the username that have the access that will be going to access that location block let's give the name as admin that's done we need to enter the password okay that's done retype it so it's successfully done Let's pick the Nginx IP. Well, I'm opening one incognito mode for no cache issues. Let's open it. So it's asking for username and password. So here we have successfully set up basic authentication with username and password. Let's enter the username, the password. So here it is our admin page. So well, the first part we have successfully done. Now the second part is the whitelisting approach. Let's go back to the configuration file cd slash etc slash nginx com.d let's open that file auth.conf so there can be use cases that this username password based approach is required on one location block or the whitelisting approach is required on a second location block or they can be use cases while both the authentication mechanism is required on the same location block they can be you know use cases in an organization uh, well there are some stuffs like employee self care portal that can be accessible on the intranet of the organization so we'll be applying both the mechanism on the same location block for doing the whitelisting there is one simple keyword required that is allow sorry it's allow yeah and you just need to mention the ip okay then if you want to deny for someone specifically define that app ip or it's like you want to allow only the set of ips that are defined here and rest of the ips if you want to deny just go for deny all okay so let's take one anonymous ip i'll say like 13.2.45. let's say zero okay so let's save the file Check for any syntax error. Oh, sorry, it's minus T. It's done. Let's restart the Nginx service. Restart. It's restart. Yeah, it's done. Let's check whether I am able to access it. Well, you can clearly see it's saying 403 forbidden. Why? Because I entered there some random IPs that was starting with 13. Okay, let's check my public IP. If you can check, my public IP is in the range of 103.47.148, sorry, 158.45. Let's enable this IP for this location block. sudo nano auth.conf. Let's delete this. I'll say like, okay, let's copy it. And 
and we'll place it here okay we'll be giving a range so that you know my laptop my computer or my mobile phone all can access this web page let's save this and restart the service sudo service nginx restart okay let's go to the website this web page again and check so it's accessible now you can check like uh, both the mechanism are successfully working we have applied a username password based approach and the secondly we have applied a whitelisting approach well there can be cases like suppose you have suppose n number of ips but and it's difficult to you know go and enter each and every ip in the configuration file for that what you will do is just create one ip file you can say a list of ip file and just include that file in your configuration file okay and in the list of ip file just mention a list of ips by keywords allow ip1 allow ip2 allow ip3 and that's it so in this way you can apply basic authentication with nginx i hope this content has been helpful to you please subscribe my channel for other oncoming videos Thank you.